guys, it's Janice from Ozark Family Homestead. I'm going to do a quick video for you today featuring Daisy the cow. She's our Jersey. Uh, we milk her once a day. And now that mud season has ended, fly season is here. And poor Daisy has flies on her. I make up a homemade uh, fly spray using essential oils, apple cider vinegar, and I'm going to make up a batch today and we will apply it to Daisy the cow and hopefully it helps. So I have had success with this in the past, so it's time to get a new batch for poor old Daisy. So we'll head to the kitchen and we'll get that fixed up. All the things with wings are bothering you, aren't they Daisy? Not just the flies. Those pesky chickens are bothering you, too. <laughs> well, we'll at least take care of the flies. How about that, girl? Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started on making this fly spray. Now, the first thing that I do that really makes this easier for me is I take my recipe and I write it out and I tape it right on the bottle. So I do not have to keep some paper somewhere that reminds me of what this is. It's right here, where I need it, and when I need it. So I am going to type this out in the description box below, so you'll be able to see it for yourself down there. But what I'm going to do, this is very easy, I have a handy dandy little funnel, and I am gonna save the apple cider vinegar for last, and I'm doing that purposefully so that it can rinse out my funnel as all of this pours in there. I'm starting off with the smaller uh, quantities of ingredients here on this side. So, the olive oil. My handy dandy recipe here says I need two tablespoons of olive oil, and I'm gonna put those in there. And then I need the same amount of the Dawn dish soap. That's two tablespoons of that. And my understanding is the purpose of this is just to get it to stick onto her, that it doesn't just wash away, roll right off of the cow's back. So this is heavy. Two tablespoons of this. And I only made a little bit of a mess. Not too bad. Drip, drip, drip off my spoon there. And then we're gonna put in this two cups of apple cider vinegar here, and it's gonna wash the, there's Dawn dish soap and olive oil kind of sticking to the edges of that funnel. This will wash it right down. All right, all that's left are my essential oils over here. I'm done with this funnel. I don't need this part anymore. These are the essential oils that I'm using. Peppermint, cedarwood, tea tree, and lemongrass. These are what I'm using to scare those flies off. They don't like these. And I'm going to be using 20 drops of each of these. I'm going to put them right in here. And I'm not going to have you all sit around and watch me pour 80 drops of essential oils in here. I'll do that real quick, and then we'll come back and let you pick up from there. All right, and just like that, there's 80 drops of the essential oils in there. You see how easy that was? So the last step now is I'm just going to go to the sink, and I'm going to fill it the rest of the way up with water. And that'll be our last step in making this. Now, I am going to take you all outside with me tomorrow morning. And when we're finished milking Daisy, I'm going to go ahead and spray her down. And you can see how she reacts to it. So, let's fill this up first. All right. All right. That's where we're going to leave it then until tomorrow morning. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> All right, next morning we're going to go and take care of Daisy Girl. Go on, Rebecca. Beep beep. 
Whoa. Yeah. What is it? Rocks? Yeah, rock. rocks. Rocks. Mm-hmm. We're down here to take care of Daisy. And she's got some flies flying around her. We're going to work on that here, girl. Let's get on in there. Get some milk. All right, Daisy girl. We're done milking. She's cleaning up the rest of her grain there. And I'm going to go ahead and spray her down here. So the flies aren't really bothering her too bad here in the stanchion. I'm just doing a light mist all the way down her, on her sides, and even down here. This is why I do it afterwards. I don't want any residual smell or anything there on her udder as we're trying to milk. Okay. And then the other side. Hi, sweet girl. And it's just a light mist. It doesn't seem to bother her at all. And on the belly, there's more flies down there on her belly. So, I've been getting away with doing this just once a day. In the mornings after milking. And it's working out all right for us. Oh, Daisy girl, you got chickens coming in here. Yeah. <laughs> I think Daisy likes the taste of it. <laughs> now, I will say, if I went with the commercial spray, I'm sure it would be more effective than the homemade stuff that I just made up. But I do think the homemade helps. And my preference is always to avoid the chemicals if at all possible. So that's why I'm going with the more natural homemade stuff here for Daisy our cow. So I do, I think it tastes good. <laughs> oh my, I'd rather be licking this off than the commercial stuff at least. If you guys liked our video, please give me a thumbs up. Is she gonna lick the camera? She is just trying to lick the camera. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up, please. Give Daisy a thumbs up, please. She's a good girl. <laughs> um, licking my pants. She's licking your pants. <laughs> okay, be sure to like the video, please, and subscribe to our channel. And if you don't mind, tell your family and friends to watch Ozark Family Homestead. I sure would appreciate it. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching Ozark.